last video we found the least common multiple, and in this video we're going to go over the greatest common factor. They're basically the same, the same thing on the graphing calculator and involve the same keystrokes, but I'm just going to go through it so you can become familiar with it. Uh, both commands are under the math category, so I press math, I scroll to the right to the number category, and then I scroll down, the LCM on my calculator is function number 8, and the GCF is right after that. They call it GCD here, same idea. Greatest common denominator or factor, that's number 9. Um, okay, so what can you do? You can compare two numbers, let's say 4, well it's not very interesting, let's try something more interesting. Let's say 18 and 24. So you press enter and what does it do? It finds the greatest common factor of both of those numbers. You can also do this, I'll press second enter, with lists of numbers. You don't need to do this with um, two numbers themselves, we can actually use a list. So I hit second parentheses, I create a curvy parentheses, and I can enter my list. Let's say I have three numbers, 12 and 18 and 24. And I want to compare these numbers to one other number. Okay, so I'm going to find the greatest common factor that each of these numbers have, or greatest common de denominator that each of these numbers have with the number 8. I close the parentheses and press the enter. So 8 and 12 have the greatest common factor of 4, 18 and 8 have a greatest common factor of 2, and 24 and 8 have a greatest common factor of 8. So it compares each number in the list to the number 8. Now you can compare two lists in the same way uh, instead of setting up a second number 8 like we did there I can just set up another list with parentheses. Let's say the next list is the numbers 1, 2, and 3. I close with those brackets and hit enter and now it just co it compares each pair. So the first number in each list what's the greatest common factor? 1. What's the second um, greatest common factor for the second number in each list, 2, and so forth. So you can do that um, with two lists, a list and a value, or two values. If you want to go into the stat button, hit edit, you can create more complicated lists and compare those as well. Alright, thanks, I hope this helped.